Hey guys, welcome back. We are about to get into my current beauty favorites. Products I have been loving all month long and I've actually emptied one of these products. So um, yeah, so get you a snack, get you a drink, get comfortable and let's get into it. let's get into let's get into the skincare then the body care and then we'll go into the makeup products um this moisturizer right here is the Edom cloud cushion airy brightening moisturizer this is one of the products that i shared in a sephora haul and i have fallen in love with this moisturizer i mean clearly you guys can see i am scraping it so it comes with like a um a gold little spatula so i've been using that to kind of get the product out now that i'm almost out but i didn't really like the brightening serum that i showed you guys a few months ago it's the dark spot serum from edom it just didn't really do anything for my skin i feel like it was just moisturizing and that was it but this right here i have definitely seen some results from using this my skin seems to be brighter it seems to be more vibrant more radiant and just more healthy looking so i really do enjoy this moisturizer it's actually for all skin types if you have oily skin um combination skin dry skin um, i feel like it'll work for you so definitely been enjoying that and i will be repurchasing it and then this one is a newer moisturizer to me but i have been loving this with my makeup it's the bioma moisturizing gel cream and i like using this because it's so lightweight it's just a perfect moisturizer to use under your makeup or if you just want to wear it by itself especially if you're wanting something light on the skin because it is pretty hot outside so i think you'll really like this this is from target they have other products in the line but i just wanted to try this out first before i you know dip my toes into another product so yeah and this is what it looks like it has like a cute little pump cute packaging pink y'all know i love me some pink <laughs> um but yeah it has been a staple of mine especially for the daytime i don't use this at night just mostly in the daytime um and then this from good molecules you guys i just placed an order on the website because i see that it came out with the um uh discoloration body cream so i ordered that and i also ordered another one of my discoloration serums i am obsessed with that stuff but this right here this is the instant uh, instant cleansing balm y'all there is a cleansing balm that i always get from the drugstore it's by the brand versed and for a long time that was my holy grail cleansing balm like that was all that i used to rave about but this has easily replaced my first cleansing balm y'all so this is how it looks and it comes with this little plastic uh spatula that i just keep in there now obviously i am going to be trying out other cleansing balms as they come out like you know newer cleansing balms just to try them out and review them for you guys but i feel like i don't need any other cleansing balm if i have this because it gets the job done like it melts everything and it doesn't make my skin feel dry once i rinse it off um but it's just a nice cleansing balm it is good and it's affordable i got this from ulta i don't know where else they sell good molecules besides their um website but if you can find this get it fenty skin gel eye cream y'all i've had this in my stash for months like i don't even know when i got this but i recently opened it up about two weeks ago two and a half weeks ago simply because i ran out of an eye cream that i was using so instead of me going and buy a new eye cream I felt like I just need to, you know, search through my stash and see if I had eye cream. And I ran across this. And y'all, this is it. Like, I can't even remember if I got this in PR or if I purchased it. But I will say, I will be buying another one of these once this one runs out. Because I like how this feels on my eyes. Like, it has like a, um, a cooling sensation. It feels really good. And I feel like this is a great eye cream morning and night now i only use it at night but i feel like if you have puffy eyes because of the cooling sensation that it gives i feel like this will be good for that um but i really like it i like how moisturizing it is and it doesn't irritate my eyes it doesn't irritate my skin like this has been really 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 good i also like that it comes with like a little i should have brought it in here with me but it comes with a little um marble roller which also feels cold on the eyes when you use it but yeah it just has been a holy grail eye cream of mine and i freaking love it so this is how it looks when you open it, it has like a little bitty 
tip and then I just, you know, apply it under my eyes and tap it in and it has been wonders for me. So, um, okay, body care products. Let's talk about this feminine wash. This one right here from L. I I think that's what it is called. But yeah, it's the foam wash from L. I I got it from Target, and it actually reminds me so much of the Honey Pot foam wash, except this pump is way, way, way better, you guys. I've been using this for the past two, three weeks now, and no complaints you guys no complaints i don't know if i like this one more than i do my um down there wash that i also get from target but this has been really good and i definitely wanted to update you guys on it because i do um remember sharing this in a haul i believe i think it was a haul yeah and y'all know i like to come back and you know follow up on the products that i share with you guys but definitely been enjoying this so if you're looking for a new feminine wash something affordable um i would say try this one out so it's just a nice foam wash so really been enjoying that and then this right here this is the truly coco cloud whipped shave butter y'all i don't know if i like this simply because of the smell and how i don't know i don't know but mm, it smells amazing but this is how it looks out on the inside if y'all can see i've been going through it y'all so this is what i put on my legs because i shave my legs under my arms and i really been enjoying it so you just scoop some out and then you know rub your hands together you know put it all wherever you shave put it on there and shave <laughs> but yeah i've been liking it it's vanilla coconut milk argan oil white tea and vitamin e boost really 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 nice i just wish that it comes in a larger um container because this is only four it says four fluid ounce but i like it i haven't been using gel um shaving save shaving cream i just been using this every time i shave and it gets the job done and it's also from target too so if you are looking for you know something different just a little switch up then i would say try this out if you do shave i have other body care products that i'll share with you guys in another video because i'm still using them um and trying to you know gather up my thoughts on it but let's go into let's go into fragrance i have this fragrance right here billy eilish if you like the huda beauty vanilla uh vanilla 28 I think you will really like this because in a way this kind of reminds me of the Huda Vanilla in a way but this one's a little bit more sweeter than that um I can't remember the notes of this um but I will have it in the description if you guys um want to know what is in it but just by smelling it it smells like the Huda Vanilla um Vanilla 28 to me it does and y'all know I love me a vanilla perfume but really 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 been enjoying this and robert actually loves this so all right y'all so this this right here this isn't a perfume it's a body mist but y'all this thing okay it's from walmart it's the all day juice i think that's how you say it but it's pure sugar that's what the scent is pure sugar this i kid you not I kid you not, you guys. If you have Burberry Her or I don't have Ariana Cloud, but a lot of people are saying Burberry Her is similar to Ariana Cloud. And a lot of people are also saying that Baccarat is similar to Ariana Cloud and Burberry Her. I don't have Baccarat. I don't have Ariana Cloud, but I do have Burberry Her. And that is one of my favorite fragrances. This literally smells like a body mist, a Burberry Her body mist. It's not as strong as the perfume, but y'all, this layered with it. Mm. Y'all know body mists don't really last that long, but if you want it to last longer, um, then put on like a body butter and then spray yourself or put on a body oil and then spray. Um, I used this the other day when I went to the pool. I mean, I don't really need to have on a perfume, but instead of putting on a perfume, I decided to put a body mist on and I actually had it with me at the pool. And it was just a nice little, you know, mist to spray. Very affordable, under $10. So really, really, really like this. So very random. This is, um, I got my nails done the other week. This is in the shade OPI. Uh, well, it's, 
it's by OPI, but the color is Bubble Bath. And I wanted to buy it from the nail salon, but they didn't have it for me to purchase. So I was looking for it online and I found it on walmart.com. First, I was looking for it on Amazon. And I saw that you had to have like some type of business license to get it, which is so weird. Um, and then I just went to Google and typed in the OPI gel color in the shade Bubble Bath. And I saw it was available on Walmart. And I believe some of you were actually telling me that in the comments of that vlog, but I had already purchased it. I don't think I did. I, I don't even think I mentioned that I already purchased it in the vlog. But yes, this color right here is going to be my go to color. I've never worn Bubble Bath, um, bubble bath by itself. But when I do get my nails done, sometimes they'll put it on the base and then put a color on top like when I get the French. Um, and I've been getting my nails done for the past month, month and a half now. Um, just kind of switch it up because you guys know I love me a press on um, set. But yeah, I just wanted to get this because I know I will be wearing this pretty much all summer long. So whenever I do get these off, so if I want to get these soaked off, and then just rock my real nails, which they have gotten so, so long. I can see them under um, here. But uh, when I want to rock my own nails or when I want to do my own nails, I will have this because I already have the gel light, the cure, you know, to cure it with, which I got off Amazon. But yes, had to get my hands on this because I know this is going to be my color all spring and summer long um okay let's talk about the foundation i've been loving this is the danessa myrick's yummy skin and this has been one of my go-to foundations now i do have a top preference in foundations i did like a top three foundation um on my instagram the other day um if I had to pick a top five, this will definitely go into my top five. But yeah, I just wanted to come back on camera and tell you guys my thoughts on it. And I love, love, love this foundation. I like the coverage of it more than anything. Um, the longevity of it is not as good as my NARS light reflecting foundation. But the coverage, the finish, how it looks, it just gives my skin that perfect skin, yummy look. I mean, I'm saying yummy because it's called yummy skin, but... Um, yeah, I really like this foundation. Um, I don't like how it smells though. If they could take away the smell, I think it will be perfect. Like I would probably rate it a 10 out of 10, but if I had to rate this foundation, I would say an eight out of 10. Um, but yeah, coverage is beautiful. The color is perfect. This is in the shade 18 G and it just looks really, really, really good on the skin. Okay. This right here, this is the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter superstar youth glow y'all this is what i've been wearing when i don't want to wear foundation and this literally looks like foundation on my skin it's pretty much like a i don't even know how to describe it but i did a video testing this out with you guys and um yeah i pretty much wore this instead of foundation but i like this because of the glow that it gives I remember the day yeah it was the day after I filmed that video where I was testing this out I just wore this I didn't even set my face because I wanted to see how it looked in the sunlight like outside so I put this on the skin and honestly it just looks like I have on a moisturizer like a, a luminous moisturizer but it doesn't make my skin look you know like tin foil you know um but I like it I really do so what I did today because I have it on today I have a mixture of this and the Danessa Myricks foundation on the skin today, y'all. And I mean, it's kind of bright in the room right now. So don't know if you guys can really see, but I like, I like, I like. Okay, the last few products, because my camera's dying, is lip products. So this is the Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss in the shade Flower Blossom, I believe. Yeah, Flower Blossom. This is what I have on my lips today. I need to put a little bit more on. Um, this gloss is very similar to the Chanel gloss in the shade Icing. And I know that one is always sold out. So if y'all are looking for that gloss, but can't find it, get this one. Only difference is this one has like a cooling sensation on the lips, but the color is spot on. It is the same exact like milky pink color, but it doesn't look, you know, it doesn't look too frosty on the lips. It's really cute. And then this other one, I think I've already mentioned this one in a favorites video, but I'm bringing it back because that's just how much I love the gloss. It's the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Lip Gloss in the shade Nude Mood. Yeah, Nude Mood. This is just your everyday throw in your purse 
gloss like this stuff is better than the um the elf cosmetics lip lacquers and y'all know those are some of my favorite drugstore glosses but this one is so much better they reformulated this gloss and it is 10 times better than the elf lip lacquers it's more glossy on the lips it's not sticky it's smooth and buttery i love it and then the last one i want to talk about is this one right here nyx came out with a clear butter gloss y'all yes ma'am i will have a link down below in the description well everything is going to be linked but i noticed a lot of you didn't know that because i've been using this like kind of like putting it on the lips in some of my videos and you guys are like what nyx has a clear gloss yes clear butter gloss the og butter gloss is now clear so get your hands on it if you haven't already this has been my go-to i'm gonna have to get me another one because i use this all the time i throw it in my purse i use it before I okay y'all the battery keeps dying i keep having to switch it out but um it cut off me talking about the nyx butter gloss but yes this has been my go-to gloss my go-to clear gloss for the month and i had to share it with you guys but that is it girl that is all that i have for today's favorites video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if i shared anything in this video that you guys have tried out what are your thoughts do you like it do you not like it Let's talk about it down below in the comments. But thank you so much for hanging out. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys in my next one.